Swiss team, especially who want to know uh, their school, uh, their children, and the projects that they've been involved in during these last years. So, alles für euch. Last year. Oh no. Buongiorno. Und die? Bonjour. And grüezi. Grüezi. Grüezi, yes. So our country actually, we speak four different languages. Switzerland is in the middle of Europe, and still it doesn't really belong to Europe. Partly yes, partly not. And that has probably something to do also with our identity, with our culture, with our history. Switzerland has, be, has had been used to, to be ruled by different kings and princes. And it was a long way to, to become Switzerland. We are surrounded by mountains. And we are a little bit shut up from Europe. And still we want to belong to Europe, especially in this work as we do it these days here. Uh, we were not asked from Switzerland to present something. I asked, and they said, no, 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 there is no time for it. But this morning, uh, you asked us to, to have a little presentation, so it's just made like this. But I think it doesn't work because it doesn't find my OneDrive account here. But I can tell you, um, we, are, we have different cultures in our country as well, uh, as itself. Um, Latin countries as well as German con uh, <coughs> customs. And um, yeah, many people want to come to Switzerland as well. And in our village, we have a very low number of foreign children in our classes, but other cities or countries, they have 50% or more, even 80% in their classes. So, I can no, tell you, I don't Anina know the, is going to tell you something about GAMS and about the class in GAMS. If it works, Ah, here. I can tell you ah. that we worked with a musician. Okay. We are really starting. Switzerland just started, so we are taking part in Muse since one year. Mm. But we don't have that much experience about it since <coughs> developing. Mm. Yeah. Both of us, we have worked with a musician. He worked with traditional. Swiss instruments, but uh, he mixed it up with uh, modern music and in my class also with stories. Mm -hmm. So the children were free to create stories uh, and uh, one of those groups, they, they um, wanted to, to tell the story how the Alphorn was invented. Or Found yes, you know the Alphorn. Is it a, is this very long, long word. So they were creating a story about that, and they were foreign children from Afghanistan and so on who tried to play this Alphorn. It's very difficult, but it was funny to see how they helped each other. Also, we we saw that in other countries, the traditional music has a lot to do with our music as well. So they have, you're ready. No, oh. I don't know if my password is correct. I don't know this. Where is the plus? Is this the plus or is this the plus? I struggle with this keyboard. That's is plus, what do you I'll tell you about our school, but he doesn't want to. I mean, you have to be prepared. Okay, Gams is a small village uh, with about uh, 3,000 uh, inhabitants. We have three schoolhouses. 
for the lower level, the kindergarten and the first and second class in uh, another schoolhouse for the third to the sixth class. And after sixth class, we change to the higher class, secondary school. And there is another school. This actually is our school or part of our school and the garden. Um, it's now. <laughs> Uh, we have about 150 pupils. It's increasing, but we were also earlier, we were over 200 pupils. Yeah. Normally, um, there is per class one teacher, the main teacher. They have some lessons, about between two and four lessons. Uh, they go to another uh, teacher. But normally they stay with their main teacher. So they have actually a quite good um, relation. <coughs> to, to, to they don't have too many teachers. Uh, so it's not so confusing, maybe. Um, we are having, besides the main uh, subjects, we have handicraft art, music in our curriculum. And since one year, we are taking part with our village in Muse. But it's really a startup. And um, we have in Switzerland, up to now, very, very little information what we have to do, in which direction it has to go. And uh, it's really starting up in Switzerland. But we are happy that we are one of three um, towns or villages that take part in Switzerland. Yes. Uh, Nina has worked with uh, the musician Enrico Lenzin. I told you how he works with traditional Swiss um, music combined with others. Um, he's actually a drummer, but he plays different instruments. And uh, Anina and her class, had, they have made a, a little concert at the end. And we worked a little bit different, because my class, they, they told stories with the instrument. Yeah. All right. So um, this is a, little, a short video. Um, it's a group of girls with different instruments, and they created kind of sounds, typical Swiss and to try to tell, create an image through this. And this is um, when they trained it and tried what they can do with it. Let's see.
Das Pferd. <lacht>